The night has come. It's the end of the year, not the end of boy of the year. Boy of thy years, I guess. That's, that's stupid, man. Warren. Today is December 4, 2022, and I am in Los Angeles, California. Boy of the Year was an idea that I came up with because I moved from Jakarta, Indonesia to Los Angeles, and I wanted to speak on experiences that I had throughout the year. The duality of being out here in LA, it's supposed to be pretty and beautiful, but it's like depressing sometimes. Early on, I bought a notebook. I drew a lot of ideas that I wanted to bring to my music. I drew the glove for the first time. I wanted a specific design for it. And I just started drawing random things every day until a vision really came upon me. One of the characters I drew early on, it was the helmet characters. They kind of exist in that boy of the year world. Wearing a helmet really doesn't show identity. So the helmet really isn't me. They're just like people that I've encountered in LA not showing their true color. One of boy of the year's most important symbols is a star. It's not a perfect star either. It's disoriented. It's kind of not showing people that I'm perfect. It's showing a more honest, truthful side of me. Boy of the Year is obviously a very championing title, but it has like an underlying theme that's sort of sad. There's like a contradiction in this album, and that's like one of the main things that I wanted to achieve. I've always wanted to like visually represent that awards don't really mean anything to me. Even through all these like accolades and accomplishments, like I still wanted to go back to Indonesia and just have a glimpse of my past life. One of the most important aspects of Boy of the Year is definitely the visuals. We wanted to create an experience for fans to really immerse into the whole world. Warren's world is super rich, so we wanted to allow someone to actually be placed inside of it. Metastage is a volumetric capture studio. We've been a sort of nexus of tools that bring real people and performances into virtual spaces. We're actually harnessing the power of technology of machine learning on Azure to take 106 camera views to create fully three-dimensional video. Augmented reality uses super futuristic technology and Warren's aesthetic is super lo-fi. And so that's kind of like this really cool genre clash that we wanted to have a lot of fun with and see where that would take us. Whoever's viewing Warren, they could be in their living room, they could be outside and they would have Warren flying out of midair. And we thought that would be a cool and fun thing that would immerse people into Warren's world. Okay, I'm like, yes, sir. Both he lost his temper. I 